Hey everyone, this is Nico Carver from nebulaphotos.com and this video is just an update on the Canon EOS RA, which is Canon's first full frame mirrorless camera uh, designed for astrophotography. Um, I did a first impressions video a few months back and it was fairly glowing, but since then I've had some issues with this camera. Uh, so I just wanted to make a quick update video explaining these issues. So if anyone out there was considering purchasing this camera, they're aware that it's not all roses. Uh, the first issue I had was maybe just a fluke. I only mention it because I've never had an issue like this with any other Canon camera and I've owned many over the years. So I found it a little bit alarming. Um, basically about two months ago uh, and about two months into owning the camera, I was recording a video in 4K, uh, which is one of the reasons I bought this camera. And when I noticed uh, while recording, I basically had the screen on me like this. And while recording, I noticed all of a sudden the screen froze up and it was just my face as a, a still screen. Um, and this was during recording. So I was like, oh, that's weird. Maybe battery died or the SD card filled up or something. So I tried to get it to respond by first, you know, just pressing on the screen then pressing the different buttons, trying to, you know, stop the recording and nothing responded. So then I just tried turning it off with the on off switch. And again, it still just had that frozen screen right here. So eventually I just took out the actual battery um, and that reset it and I was able to put the battery back in and, and get it going again, but only for about one minute before the whole camera froze up again. And it just was a repeat of this process over and over again, it just kept freezing up. So I sent it into the Canon Service Center and surprisingly at first they couldn't replicate the issue even though I was having it over and over. Um, and they asked me to send the lens I was using and this Canon EF to RF adapter that I was using. And eventually I guess they replaced some power parts, uh, something to do with the power management um, that they said was broken and they fixed it and sent it back to me. So that was fine. I haven't had that issue since, but the, that repair took uh, over a month. And so it slowed down my testing a little bit with this camera. And then ever since I got it back, um, whenever I take out the battery um, to charge it and then put the battery back in, and turn the camera back on, I get this screen, the reset the date and time screen. And so what's going on is there's another battery inside a Canon camera that just keeps the date and time for you, basically just like a watch battery, but I think a little bit better than that. Um, and it's supposed to, I think, be a rechargeable battery that charges while the camera is on. But for whatever reason, I've been using this camera a lot since I got it back and this date time battery isn't working. So uh, just another little annoyance. But I wasn't planning to send it back immediately just for that because it's sort of just a little uh, hiccup and maybe eventually I'd get it uh, fixed. And I really wanted to take more pictures with this cool camera. Um, but then right as I was planning to go sh do my next shoot with the RA, I noticed a thread on the Cloudy Nights Forum, which is um, mostly a, a US uh, forum for discussing everything to do with astronomy, including astrophotography. And on the DSLR forum on Cloudy Nights, I noticed this thread about reflection issues with bright stars that uh, people were saying were specific to the Canon RA. And so I hadn't noticed this. I looked into the thread though, and it seemed all credible. Got me really looking back at my images and that I'd taken. And sure enough, I could find these reflections on bright stars too. Um, I think the reason that I hadn't noticed before was because my first test shot was of Orion. And Orion has a lot of nebulosity around it. So the, the red halos effect, that, that's the, the problem that people were finding. They were sort of obscured by all the nebulosity going on. But looking back on my jellyfish test shot, um, especially looking back before I heavily processed it, I could clearly see these red rings on bright stars. So here's one. This halo you can see is a bright star in the center of the frame and the halo is fairly centered. But if you look at a, a bright star off center, then it gets quite distracting because the, the um, the halo is really offset from the star. And the, the more, the closer the bright star is to the edge of the full frame of the Canon RA, the more that halo becomes offset. 
And people on this thread were finding this effect with all kinds of different optics, telescopes, and lenses. Um, I had only tested the RA so far with telescopes. So anyways, I asked the Canon Service Center about this and they suggested I try to replicate the issue with a Canon lens rather than a telescope, which they probably hadn't tested for when they built the Canon RA. So that makes sense. So that night, I that same night that I got the message, it happened to be clear, and I went out with this lens. This is my Canon 200 millimeter uh, f 2.8 L lens, and I shot wide open, and I took some photos of Vega, which is a bright star, both with my RA and my Canon 5D Mark III, which I'm shooting with right now, and here are the results. Um, so you can see with the RA, you have uh, that really dramatic uh, red halo only on one side because I offset Vega, and with 5D Mark III, no red halo. And so it really is a shame as I was really hoping to use this camera mostly actually with um, lenses, especially Canon lenses at fast focal ratios. And I think this halo is emphasized when you get to fast focal ratios. So really it's just uh, a game breaker for me or a, a deal breaker, I should say. In any case, my next step is tomorrow. I'm gonna send my Canon RA, the Canon lens and my sample raw files all to the Canon Service Center and see if they can fix this camera yet again. Um, however, the consensus opinion on cloudy nights is that this is a design issue with the internal filters inside the RA um, that would affect everyone's RA, not just some. Um, but we'll see, we'll see where this all goes. I, I love many things about this camera. I love how light it is. I love the flippy screen. I love the filter drawer system. So um, there's a lot of things I do like still, but so far it hasn't lived up to the high price point due to the issues I've been having. Um, and that these issues have been requiring me to send it back for service when I'd rather be using it. So I guess uh, the big risk in buying a camera that's brand new to the market and relatively untested is you don't uh, know what kind of issues are going to spring up with it. Uh, Anyways, I'll keep everyone updated as to what's happening with my Canon RA journey. But for now, based on my own experiences with the camera and what I'm seeing with uh, pretty widespread evidence of this red halo issue across many people's pictures, I can't recommend purchasing the Canon EOS RA, um, but hopefully they can fix it and then maybe my recommendation will change. Um, until next time, clear skies, everyone. This is Nico Carver, nebulaphotos.com.